Hey guys and welcome back to Chemistry 20, 1032 Lab instructional videos. I am your host Dr. Russell Betts and I'll be guiding you through today's problem. This is example problem 1.1 from the scientific measurements experiment. It's all about using a ruler to measure a line but what this uh, example is really trying to show you is how to not only measure a line but measure a line properly. So this is in your laboratory manual Example problem 1.1. So let's take a look and let's see how we measure these lines. Now, the first ruler, ruler A, we're dealing with this one right here, doesn't have any small hash marks. It only has large hash marks. So it has a hash mark here, hash mark here, hash mark here. Notice these hash marks are measuring one centimeter. So this right here, is the one centimeter mark. This is the two centimeter mark. This is the three centimeter mark. So this ruler you can read the one centimeter mark. But I think all of you will agree this line does not hit the one centimeter. It also doesn't hit the two centimeter. It's somewhere in between. But we really can't say where. We have no idea where it is because there's no measurement or hash mark to tell us where it is. So what we can say for this line is that it's one point something. One point something. Now, this something right here, this number or digit, is called the estimated digit. Now, why is it the estimated digit? It's the estimated digit because we can't actually read it from the device. There's no number here. There's no number right there where the line hits the ruler. There's no number. We have to estimate it. We have to essentially give our best educated guess at to what that number is. When I look at it, I say, okay, that looks like it's 1.5. So let's put 1.5 there. Let's erase all this. And let's put 1.5 centimeters, where that is the estimated digit. Now another way to think about estimated digits is to look at the device you're measuring with. In this case it happens to be this ruler which quite frankly is not a very good one because it doesn't uh, measure to too many significant figures. This ruler is measuring to the ones position. So it's measuring the ones. And the number system that's measuring the ones. We estimate the tenth the first decimal point. So this ruler measures to the one, we estimate the tenth or the first decimal point or 1.5 where 5 is the estimated digit. Alright, let's move on to 2, part B. The uh, ruler that has more hash marks. Okay. Now, look between the number 1 and the number 2. This is one centimeter, this is two centimeters. Now, in between, we have these little hash marks. Now, each one of those little hash marks represents 0.1 centimeters. So this, if you want, is 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1.5, 1 and so on, all the way to 1.9. Now, this means that between 1 and 2, we have hash marks that tell us a little bit more uh, of an accurate number. So here we can see the line is right about there. So that's about where the line hits the ruler. So now the ruler can tell us something more. This is 1.1, pardon me, this is 1.0, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8. And here's 1.9. So, it's not 1.8, it's a little longer than 1.8, and it's not 1.9, it's a little shorter than 1.9. So what we can write down is 1.8. And now we have to put the estimated digit in this spot, and of course the units will be centimeters. Don't forget the units, it's a very important thing to put in there. Okay. Now looking at this, we know it's not 1.8, we know it's not 1.9, we know it's somewhere in between, so let's give it our best educated guess. Let's uh, pop the eraser back up here. 
Let's erase this so we can look at it a little more closely. There we go. Now, oops, sorry, get rid of that. There we go. Now, we look at that and we say, okay, it's 1.8, I want to say it's 1.85. 0.85 or that is the estimated digit the 5 is the estimated digit now you can see this number has more decimal points it has 2 or that one only has 1 this ruler is more accurate than this ruler so B is more accurate than A A is not as good of a ruler because it doesn't have the 0.1 hash marks between the centimeters all right Let's go down to ruler number uh, letter C. Now look at letter C. It appears that this line is either maybe hitting the three or slightly above the three. I think my eyes tell me it's hitting the three. So now we know that this ruler can measure to the tenths or the first decimal place. The number the ruler can measure to the first decimal place. That means we have to estimate the second decimal place. That's kind of a good rule to remember. If a ruler can measure to the first decimal place, which this one can, you always estimate the next decimal place. So for example, this ruler would tell me this is 3.00 centimeters because I had to estimate the second decimal place. Okay, now let's go back over this. Let's go back up to letter A. This ruler measures to the ones position. It does not measure the first decimal place. It only measures the ones. So that means we have to estimate the first decimal place. We always estimate one more digit than what we can read. Part B. Part B, this ruler measures now the first decimal place. So we estimate the second decimal place. You always estimate one more digit than what you can read. Letter C, again, this ruler measures the first decimal place. So we have to estimate the second decimal place. You always estimate one more digit than what you can read from an analog measuring device. So this one is 3.00 because I think it's hitting this line precisely or exactly however you want to say it. All right. Now, I hope this helps you understand how to use an analog measuring device. The rules are all the same for all analog devices. You always estimate one more digit than you can read from the device. Digital, you don't do this. Digital, you just write down what the device gives you. Analog, you have to estimate one more digit than what you can read from the device. Okay, I uh, hope this video was helpful and I hope that you are, are able now to command uh, the uh, command the ability to measure using an analog device. If not, come and see your professor for extra help or go to the Academic Success Center, talk to one of the tutors there and uh, either way, get it right so that when you're on an exam or in the lab doing measurements, you don't make mistakes and lose points. Okay? Now with that, I wish you good luck and good chemistry.